Okay, everything is now loaded in the car now, except the one your housemate is bringing. She is not my housemate. She is my wife. Did you hear that? <laughs> something else today. I just wish you wear some other things some other time. A lot of things are bothering me right now. You really think I care about what I wear? I do not think we should wear our worries on our clothing. True. But if what is bothering me is not bothering you, then why are we a couple? Meaning? Meaning that sometimes, I feel so alone. But, it's okay. Don't worry, God will see me through. Chill, bro. It's not that bad. Please just drink up. It's that bad, though. You know, somebody referred to her as my housemate today because of the way she dresses. Have you tried talking to her about it? Talk to somebody who will start crying immediately you try to correct her. She will say you are looking down on her. You are insulting her. For me, I don't talk again, no? Then you must find another way of telling her you disapprove of her appearance and how she disgraces herself. Is it only herself she disgraces? She disgraces me. She embarrasses me. Boy, I'm tired. I know how you feel. But like I said, you still have to find a way of talking to her. Honestly. No, I, I take her to places. I shop for her. Nice, nice things. She will smile. She will dance. She will make a, a ceremony. But when she gets it out, she dumps everything in the wardrobe. She doesn't wear anyone. Anyway, I, I know the solution. Good. I like it when you speak like this. Because the problem I identified is already half solved. And that's why you must get to the root of why she changed. Changed? I know very well Amaka is not a fashion conscious person. But five years ago, after our son Henry turned 12, she changed entirely. Also, something must be bothering her. Can't you see it? She's well provided for. I mean, there's not... Anyway, I am not supposed to be talking about my family problems. It's just that sometimes a man has got to let it out, otherwise it will kill you. Uzo, you and I have been friends since our university days. And you know that anything you tell me is safe. I've never even told my wife. I know it. Good guy. I'll pay for your beer. <laughs> That's usual. <laughs> Ma. Sir. What's our beer? Okay. Hey, guys. Hi. I want to go home and pick up some things and get ready for the club tonight. So, if the proprietor comes, you tell him. Okay, I will let him know. Alright. I'll be back. Bye. 
Sir. Sir. Yes. Your bill is ten thousand now. That's okay. Well, this car is very stupid. This is very embarrassing. Come on, hop in. I could give you a ride to get a mechanizer. I have a spare tire in the car. All right. We take a look at it. Thank you. I'm coming down. Have you got a spanner? Have you got a jack? I have everything, I just don't know how to use it. I do. Name is Uzo. I'm Queen. Alright, let's get it done. There you go. Oh, thank you. Darn it. Thank you very much. No, don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Ozo. You're very kind. Oh, my pleasure happened. You work at the pub? Yes. Wow. Nice. As a performer. Performer? Yeah. Wow, that's nice. Yes, every Wednesday afternoons, Fridays and Saturday evenings. You should, you should totally come. It is very relaxing if your work is hectic. What do you do? I run my own business. Oh, okay. Then you should come and see me perform on stage. I'm a totally different person. <laughs> All right. Um... Wednesday afternoon. I prefer afternoon shows because um, I'm married. Fine, Wednesday is absolutely very good. Please don't fail to come home. We're trying to build a clientele strictly for gentlemen. Now, there is no smoking. The management tries to control the consumption of alcohol at the pub, you know, just to rule, chase out unruly behaviors. But it's absolutely fine. However, the gate pass is 10,000 naira. So you see, where we don't make money from sales of alcohol, we make it from the gate pass. Mm, smart. Yes, it was my idea. You're smart. <laughs> I'm fine. Mr. Ozo, thank you so much. Right. I really do appreciate it. Oh, nothing. You're fine time. All right. I'll see you Wednesday. Thanks, darling. Okay, take care.
Darling, let's say the grace. Bless us, O oh Lord, and these gifts we are about to receive from thy bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. You are not hungry. Are you okay? Do I look okay? What's wrong? Something is bothering me. What is it? I can't tell you. Not now. Okay. I'm sure you know the right time to talk to your wife. I won't bother you. And I won't push you. Okay? Don't you think something is wrong? Is everything all right between us? All I know is that I love you. And as long as you love me too, there's no problem. See, pressure can arise from time to time. Either collectively in both of us, or individually in one of us. But love conquers it all. And whenever you're ready to talk, I'm here. And you know you can talk to me about anything. In sorrow we live, in joy we build, journey of love that do us apart. The problem is that she's the problem, but she doesn't say it. She doesn't think she's a problem that's trying to drive me away right now. Oh, the problem is that you think she's the problem and you don't see yourself as part of the problem. How? Listen, Uzo. Just sit this woman down and tell her in clear terms that you don't like the way she's making herself look old and that she's not attractive to you anymore and that the love is dying. Eh? Uh, okay, let me ask you. When did she change? Specifically, when did you notice that she started changing from the way she used to be? When? I told you she is not a trendy of a person kind of. Well, I agree with that. But she got worse. When did the change happen? After she lost her mom. No, not then. It was after the doctor told her she stands the chance of dying if she tries to have another baby after her boy Henry. So you know why? Let's start from there. I've told you. No, she said nothing is wrong with her. She seems to have lost interest in a whole lot of things. It's like drinking tea. No cream, no sugar. <laughs> Talking about drinking tea without cream or sugar. That's how I like my tea. I'm sure so many other people like it like that too. Don't make a too. joke out of this. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not making a joke out of it. It's my bad. Okay, so what do we do? Nothing. I can't divorce my wife no matter what. But I tell you what. I'll find a way to spice up my life. Uzo, don't tell me you have something up your sleeves. I met someone. I think I like her. Ha! Wahala! Who be that? We'll go somewhere. Wednesday afternoon. About lunchtime. <laughs> don't start what you can't finish. <laughs> oh, love 
with a sweet love on the sun. Love with a sweet love as a cup. You hide in my bed, you hide in my wonder, you hide in my sorrow. Love with a sun. She was my one and only. Thank God I found you. You have taken away my sorrow. I'm deeply in love with you. Now, so she comes. I couldn't wait till Wednesday. I figured if I loitered around here for some time, I'll see you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And you? I wish I could say the same for myself. Was well, business bad? The business of life is bad. That's a deep one. Did you lose someone close to you? What happened? Um, can we go for a drink? Uh, no. As friends, no strings attached. I don't drink. There are a million drinks to drink without alcohol. <laughs> a million drinks to drink. You have your way with words. I do? You just told me. Thanks. <laughs> so what do you have in mind? Um, let's go to my office. I have uh, a lot of non-alcoholic drinks in my fridge too. You are unbelievable. Of all places in the world to go and hang out and drink is your office. That's fresh. That's it's new. It's it's different, unexpected. I mean that not every time you find a man who would ask a woman on the first date and say, "Let's go to my office." <laughs> and I must say. I don't hang around regular guys. I like my men to be different. Wow. Show it. How did you guys do I was expecting you to ask, honey. But why? Because I said I like all my men unusual. Well, it's not like I have a man right now, but I have had my share of men in the past. Men that have come and gone, it's not like I have all of them at the same time, though. Serial monogamy. What's that? Serial monogamy. We date, we break up, I get another one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't get two at a time kind of life, but I get another one when one fails. Exactly! Thank you! Why are you thanking me? Because of the catchphrase, I have serial monogamy. I've never heard that before. Oh, fine. Okay, you teach me something new too. Like what? Something like what? Anything. New word, new expression, anything. Okay. <clears throat> Let me think. Have you ever heard of the catchphrase or the expression that says, doesn't expecting the unexpected makes the unexpected expected? Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whoever says nothing is impossible has never tried slamming a revolving door. <laughs> okay, how about this one? Friendship is like peeing on yourself. Everyone can see it, but only you get the warm feeling it brings. <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge is knowing that tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is not adding it in a fruit salad. <laughs> okay, okay, let's try this one again. Everything has got a price, but not everything is for sale. Mm. Marry a good wife and be happy. Marry a bad wife and become a philosopher. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, we are so alike in so many ways. You and I are totally a pair. Amazing. But you are still a serial monogamist. <laughs> well, charge me. <laughs> <laughs> Elephant, sir. Are the elephants, sir? 
Ouch! There's a bit So darling, am I haunting you? How is it? Where is possible? That's not possible. Because I'm gonna talk about that bird, it's possible. Three the way. Exactly. Mmm. Mmm. I wanna play something. Sweet love on the sun, love with a sweet love us a cup. You hide in my bed, you hide in my wonder, you hide in my sorrow. Love with a sun, she was my one and only. Thank God I found you. You have taken away my sorrow. I'm deeply in love with you. Now, so she comes when my heart to the bun. She quench the fire. When the love quench the fire. In your cell, we are like in so many ways. Here you are. Yeah. Thank you for letting me spend the whole day with you today. I was not bored at all. I should be thanking you. How? You lost businesses. I kept you from working. I already have my job and spending time with you today didn't eat into my time at all. So I should say thank you. Oh, yeah? Is this where you live? Oh, yeah. This... This is my humble abode. Hmm. Do you have tea? I can come in for a cup? <laughs> I took some time. I had to take a shower before I cook. I like to feel clean when I cook. Wonderful. Enjoy your food. Wonderful food. <laughs> I like you. It doesn't take much to satisfy and put a smile on your face. You look like a very good guy. Good fellas. Good of us. <laughs> Are you married? Yes. Ah, oh, nice, lucky lady. I guess. I'm sorry I asked. You don't look very happy now. Really? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Let me go and get my food. I'll come back and get it. I'm very fascinating about you. Mr. Uzo. Mr.
Is business bad? Yes. The business of life. God forbid. The business of our life will never be bad in Jesus' name. Amen. Never. Hmm? Never. There are so many things we want God to forbid. But we do not do anything to forbid them by ourselves. Shh. Your food is on the dining table. Go and eat. While you're doing that, I'll run a bath for you. And after having your bath, I will give you a very good massage and you will sleep very well. Okay? Okay? This is not what I want from you. What do you want? S say it. Have you had your bath this night? Oh, not yet. Uh, but I will. Later. Really? And you're comfortably furnished in this your native regalia by 9 p.m. without a bath? I just said, let me just rest a little. <sighs> Come on, don't take life too seriously, okay? Eat. Which woman goes to bed dressed like this? A woman with a full fledged husband who blood flows in his veins like me? where you want to sleep. What is it? Uh, you, you would have told me that you're not hungry, so I can remove the food and put it in the fridge. Is that all you know how to do? To make food and talk too much? Please, I beg you, let me sleep. I can see you're in a very foul mood. Hmm? Good night. I won't disturb you. Oh? Sleep the mood off. I'm very sure that you'll be very okay in the morning. You know go? Carry off, ma. Do you want me to take your phone upstairs for you? Oh, sorry, I'll keep, let me keep it. Sleep well. Hide my face, hide my soul. I wish I could change time with you. Oh yes, we live. Oh yes, we live. Journey of love, let do us apart. Let do us apart.
Your house help in this house. But I am older than you. And since your mother died, I have come to take you as my own daughter. And I love you. I see what is going on in this house. How Oka talks to you. And I feel all is not well. Madam, please, I don't want you to lose your marriage. Who told you I'm losing my marriage? That's how it starts. I lost mine. If I knew Half of what I know today, I would still be married. But you're a nice and very warm woman. Marriage or no marriage. I mean, life is all about purpose, not marriage. I know. Still, marriage makes us complete in our purpose. To remarry someday if I see a good man. But, madam, Oka is a good man. And that is what is confusing me. What can be wrong? Is it your fault? Or is that something you are not doing? Please don't cry. Please. Don't cry. I don't want to have a reason to blame God. I don't want to have a reason to do it at all. No. I can't. Something in me is not into it. Something in me is not allowing me to do it. Madam Jane, I have so much pain in my heart. supposed to wear trousers. Wear sexy clothes. Perfume. Makeup. Make my hair. And look into the mirror. And see my eyes staring back at me and all I can see in those eyes is emptiness I will feel like a corpse dressed for the grave with no life just makeup Is it? Is it the death of your mother? The death of my mother. The fact that I cannot have another child after having Henry twelve years ago. 
<laughs> even though I would have wanted to. And... And... And what? <laughs> Nothing. Madame Jane, please don't ask me anymore, okay? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I know I'm losing him like this. But let the will of God be done. Let God solve it if he doesn't want me to lose my husband. <laughs> Madam Jane, is your salary due? I mean, um, what's today's date? Madam, you are trying to change the topic. Thanks. What, what, what happened to you? Why did you leave my house like that? What did I do wrong? I was running from myself, not from you. And I didn't... Uh, I'm married. I didn't want to fall in love with you. What? In love? <laughs> We're just friends. No. I am vulnerable. Queen, I used to have a good marriage. I no longer have it. So right now, I am very, very vulnerable. Any woman who is nice to me, chances are that I will fall head over heels in love with her and remain so. My wife is no longer the woman I, I used to know. So, um, she's not talking to me. I don't know what's wrong with her. Is she treating you bad? It's not in the way she treats me. It's in the way she treats herself. Very bad. 90% of the time she looks horrible. I'm rapidly falling out of love with her. Why don't you get her help? I told you she shut me out. We're not in talking terms. Ah, oh, women! Why would any woman in her right senses want to give up a man like you? Why would she want to give up a good man like you? Do you want me to talk to her? I can make her my friend. <laughs> Why are you smiling? You make me fall in love with you more and more. You're selfless, charismatic, and you're not a schemer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Never trust a woman. What if I have my eyes on you? No, you don't. Oh, no I don't, at least for now. <sighs> okay, let's talk something serious now. Why don't you get her help? I can talk to her, I can make her my friend, it's easy. No. Why? Because I want you for myself. my turn to run away from you now.
the sweet love of the sun, love with the sweet love of the You hide in my bed, you hide in my wonder, you hide in my sorrow, love with the sun. She was my one and only. Thank God I found you. You have taken away my sorrow. I'm deeply in love with you. And so she comes when my heart is the bomb. She quenched the fire. When the love quenched the fire in yourself, we are like in so many ways. We have many things in common. Come on, we no more. We no more. We no more. Grab me anything you want. My love, anything you want, if you know my heart. Love with a sweet, love with a song, love with a sweet, love a sucker. You hide in my bed. My one and only thing I found you. You have taken away my sorrow. I'm in deep in love with you. She was my one and only thing I found you. You have taken away my sorrow. I'm in deep in love with you. Baby, anything you want. If you know my love, anything you want, if you know my heart, love with a sweet, love with a song, love with a sweet, love a sucker. You hide in my bed, you hide in my window, you hide in my soul. Sweet love and song, love with a sweet love a sucker. You hide in my bed, you hide in my wonder, you hide in my sorrow. Love and song. She was my one and only. Thank God I found you. You have taken away my sorrow. I'm in deep in love with you. Now so she comes when my heart is the bomb. She quenched the fire. When the love quenched the fire in yourself, we are like in so many ways. We have many things in common. Come on, we no more, we no more, we no more. Grab me anything you want. If you know my love. Anything you want, if you know my heart. Love with a sweet, love with a song, love with a sweet, love a sucker. You hide in my bed. My one and only thing God I found you. You have taken away my sorrow. I'm in deep in love with you. She was my one and only thing God I found you. You have taken away my sorrow. I'm in deep in love with you. Baby, anything you want. If you know my love, 
Anything you want there. My God. Also, you're drunk. You're drunk. God. Yes. Because there's something I want to tell you that I've been hiding in my mind for three months. Okay, uh, so what could that be? I'm tired. America, I'm tired. I don't love you again. I don't love you again. I want a divorce. I want a divorce. Just let me go. I don't love you again. It's over. I don't love you again. No, no, it's okay. I don't know. It's okay. Please, uh, take it easy. Please, I, I've heard you. We don't need to scream. We don't need to shout. Okay. okay. I heard you. Okay. I'm dying okay. every day waiting for your love, darling. Please don't leave me alone I don't mean to scare you away My love for you is much more than material things Oh baby Let it not be a task for you to love me as I am Let it not be a task for you to love me as I am Ooh, Darling, pretend that you still love me because I love you I'm getting caught up by the dirt, oh my God Ooh, This is just another day for you and me Good morning, Madam Jane. Good morning, Madam. Is breakfast ready? Almost ready. Okay, let me help you. Okay. Um, uh, teaspoon. Um, you can take this things back. Yes. I don't want to give any milk or chocolate. Okay. All right. Are you having any breakfast in my room? Okay. Yes, ma. Let me help you. No, 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 no. Don't worry. I'm serving. I want to serve and breakfast myself. <laughs> well done, my daughter. Continue like this. And you will not lose your marriage. Really? Yes. Wives of these days, what do they know? Bet the man and he will eat out your fingers. And people will think it is juju. But wives of these days, they know nothing about how to treat a husband. And the result is so many cases of divorce. And the devil is happy. My daughter, God will bless your marriage. No matter what you are passing through today, very good woman. A wife material. <laughs> Every day. Anytime. Amen. Thank you very much. You. I'll see you later, Ma. You're welcome. <laughs>
Baby. Baby. Baby, wake up. I, I, I made breakfast for you. Just the way you like it. Um, there's baked beans, sausages, um, toast bread, and a hot cup of black tea. No milk, no cream, no sugar. Why are you being nice to me? You think I'll change my mind? Uso, darling. My name is Uso. I do not wish to be addressed as your darling. Uso. Yes. What did you say last night? What did you hear last night? That you want a divorce. But, but you, you, you were drunk. You were drunk. My ancestors have a say in that. It is when a man is drunk that he has the ghost to say that which he could not say in his moments of sobriety. Do you understand? You want a divorce? Yes. So, and now we are alive. Yes, yeah. I'm expecting it. That's what I want to see. React. No! No! I will not scream! And I will not shout! I will yell! No! No! I have no reason. People fall in love. People fall out of love. Do you know what that thing on the floor is? That is breakfast! I cook. I clean. I wash. I mother you. I wife you. I love you. Please, say something to me. Say something to me before I go mad. At least, tell me what I have done wrong. What have I done wrong? You know what you are doing wrong. Stop pretending you don't know. I hide my pains. I hide my soul. I wish I could change. Time will heal. Oh, yes, we live. Oh, yes, we have. Journey of love. Let's do us apart. Let's do us apart. Oh, oh, God, is Madame all right? Don't ask me questions. You're all the same.
Jesus!
love the sun, love with a sweet love as a cup. You hide in my bed, you hide in my wonder, you hide in my sorrow. Love the sun, she was my one and only. Thank God I found you. You have taken away my sorrow. I'm deeply in love with you. And so she comes when my heart is the bomb. She went the fire, when the love went the fire. In yourself, we are like in so many ways. We have many things in common. Come on, we no more, we no more, we no more. Grab it any day you want. My love, anything you want, if you know my heart. Love with a sweet, love with a sun, love with a sweet, love with a sun. I said I wasn't going to talk about it till we get here. What was that you tried to do today? Were you deliberately trying to seduce me? Maybe. I, I thought as much. Did you find it inappropriate? Oh, no. On the contrary, I loved every bit of it. But I wasn't dancing before you came. Did you notice? So this dance was also for me. Yes, I actually wasn't supposed to dance today. I had to do my poem recitation with my pianist. But then when you walked into that place, I just saw a trailer load of problems in your face. So I did my little dance just to cheer you up and put a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. Queen? Yes. I told her. I went and got myself drunk last night. I told her. Last night she said nothing. This morning she's been throwing the worst tantrums ever. I ran from the house. Oh, oh baby. Me or her? You, of course, you, my darling. Why does a woman not adorn herself like you do? May make herself attractive, sexy. That she has a, had a baby doesn't automatically make her an old woman. It beats me. Honey, enough of the salmon, okay? I'm going to the kitchen to make something to eat. What do you want? Rice. Okay. Rice will be with you in a I'll be back. Mm -hmm. I always put my lipstick on the face. <laughs> mm. What did he say you did? What is his reason? I mean, specifically. I won't even ask him anything again. That is where you are getting it wrong. Force him to talk. Speak to him. Ask him. My husband. Why? I am not angry. I am not shouting. Please. Just tell me what I did wrong. For the sake of my heart. So that I will know. In case of my future life, I will know what my thoughts are. I have heard. Thank you very much. 
The advice of an elderly woman always come in handy. That's the advice my mother would have given me if she was alive. Madam, don't worry. I am here and I will not let you lose your marriage. That God that made you employ me as your house help in this house knows what he is doing. He knew that a day like this will come when you will need a shoulder to comfort and guide you. So he sent me to your house beforehand. So please, don't fear anything. Do you hear me? Fear only God. Madam Jane, How do I talk to him? How do I look Uzo in the face and talk to him? The father of my only son tells me that he's leaving me without giving me any concrete reason. Except... Except... Can't, can't he just be patient with me while I go through my, my crisis? Madam, maybe you two should open up to him. Tell him what is bothering you. I can't. I can't. I can't take away his happiness. If... If I tell him what is really bothering me, he'll never be happy again for the rest of his life. I'd rather bear it alone and get divorced for it. What's the meaning of sacrifice? If that is the will of God, then so be it. Don't leave me alone I don't mean to scare you away My love for you is much more than material things Oh baby Let it not be a task for you to love me as I am Aren't you coming home yet? Our son is asking of you. Uzo. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Come home. I am sleeping out because you're violent and unreasonable. I don't want to fight. Come home. Let us talk. Okay? Do you want to divorce me in a day? What do I tell our son? That you traveled? He won't believe me because you always tell him each time you want to travel. And you know he's on holiday and wants to see you every day. What do you want from me? Just take everything. I mean, 
Take everything. Take the house, everything. Just give me a divorce. I don't want anything. I want absolutely nothing from you. Really? Yes. Except... Except what? I made a small list. I want you to read it. It's on the bedside drawer, on your own side of the bed. Come home, read it and give me that which is written in the list. Once you do that, you can go. If you sue for a divorce, I won't contest it. Please come home. I don't want our son to begin to see you as a bad man or an irresponsible father. Please, come home. Please. I'm dying every day waiting for your love, darling. Ooh, please don't leave me alone. I don't mean to scare you away. It's much more than material things, oh baby Let it not be a task for you to love me as I am Let it not be a task for you to love me Wait Yeah? I need to go home I need to face this thing squarely. I can't keep on running from it. I haven't asked you not to go home. that I can buy a small house for myself. You're asking that we sleep on the same bed for one month and we must talk for 30 minutes before bedtime every day and after that you get your divorce. I go my way. No hard feelings. You are, are not target. You are not. Uzo. You said no quarrels, no fights, remember? And now you're the one using abusive words. This is not. What do you intend to achieve with all this? It doesn't make any sense. I know. Am I supposed to make sense at this point in my life? My husband of 11 years suddenly asks for a divorce and he hasn't told me what I have done wrong. Anyway, there is a request here that we talk every night for 30 minutes before we go to bed.
maybe one of these days during our conversation you will tell me what I did wrong. I need a bath. I've been dressed like this since yesterday. not to be so. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! God bless you. Amen. Uh, you're blessed. Yeah. Pastor Mrs. Blessing Harry, is this your first time with us? <laughs> Mrs. Amaka also. And yes, it's my first time here. Wow. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, very much. I did. I did. Uh, that means we'll be seeing you again. Yes, um, you know, it's interdenominational. It is not a church. It's just a women fellowship where we identify our problems and tell ourselves the truth using the word of God as our guide. Eh, Pastor, I will be bringing her. Oh, Madam Jane, that would be lovely. For as many as they are that will come, it's as many that will become real wives and mother 
To be a woman in our society of today is not an easy task at all. And it's even harder to be a wife and a mother. But God will help us. Amen. <laughs> you know, we need extra knowledge and extra teaching to cope with these husbands that we all are marrying today. But God is our strength. Amen. Amen. God bless my sister. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. need to tell pastor what you are passing through. Hmm? No, 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 please, please. Ah, I don't want the whole world to know that I'm having problems with my husband. Please, I don't want to gossip. After all, I am not the only woman who is having marital issues in this world. But special counseling can help. Mm. Let me just be going for her fellowship. Eh? Who knows? I might learn one or two things that will either help me cope or help me turn things around. Knowing about your case, we make her pray for you specially. And putting you in her prayers, we go a long way. In sorrow we live, in joy we build, journey of love, let do us about. small prayer so I mean prayer with fire not even ordinary fire fire yeah, 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 yeah. fire prayer that can move God to act I pray as much as I can no madam make war on your knees we must be warrior women if we want purpose for our husbands and our families in the society of today. And that war can only be fought on our knees before God, presenting our husbands and our families to the Almighty God who created us as helpers to be men. Madam, your husband needs help. And it's only you that can help him. How? Ma Ma on your knees. Make war on your knees. Prayer is the only weapon of a real wife. I've been a good wife to him. I've never cheated on him. I've never looked at any man. I have never told a lie in this marriage. I love him. I give him a lovely son. Prepare his meals myself. I 
please, Madam Jean, you can be a witness to that. Have I ever allowed you cook his meals? He asked me to stop working. And I obeyed him. So tell me, Madam Jane, what is my fault? What offense did I commit? You know, sometimes I, I feel so stupid not to have created a life for myself. it for God's sake. I should have a career. I am an accountant by training. Madam, pray. Pray is the way he can hear you. And know that you are praying for him and for your marriage that is falling apart. Seen the woman in your life now. Who is she? Nobody. Oza, please, please, please don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. If your husband is not eating your food, then he must be eating someone else's food. If your husband is not talking to you, he must be talking to someone else. So please just tell me who is she? Who am I losing you to? There is nobody. You didn't eat your breakfast. Why? Because I didn't want to eat my breakfast. Hey! Beautiful pictures. Oh my God. I like it too. Let's go through it together. Hmm? I want us to bond, okay? Chai! Mama, kata mama. Hi! Honestly, I like this girl, Queen. I like her very much. I heard she's. No, no, no. I've listened to one of her songs. She's a singer, and she's also a poet. She knows how to sing very well, though, and she has beautiful voice. Kai! Some people really have talent in this life, oh, I swear. It is the gift of God. Mm. <laughs> yes. Hi! Oh my God! No, don't remove your eyes. Father, I bring my home before you. Bless my home in the name of Jesus. I bring my son, Henry, before you, Father. Bless my son. Bless him, Lord. Let him be an obedient boy to his parents. 
a boy who pays attention to his studies a boy who listens to his teachers a responsible boy let him grow and be a pride to us in the name of jesus father i bring my husband mr Ozo obed before you bless him bless him father be with him always in his coming and his going in his sleeping hours and in his wakefulness in fact be his constant companion lord all the days of his life in the name of jesus christ amen papa is there any distraction any distraction threatening the happiness of this home father take control anything that will bring shame to his name and shame to this family jehovah take control any evil altar that is being built or that has been built or that will be built against this home jehovah take control any evil gathering that is aimed at disrupting the sweetness of this home papa uproot uproot it and send it to the bottomless pit where it belongs in the name of jesus christ amen father you said and that the prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto your sight therefore lord make us whole make us whole in your love make us whole in your mercy make us whole in your grace let us stand like the mountain or shake it let my prayer find a way to your throne in the name of jesus let my prayer find a way Amaka. please i am trying to sleep i had a head today can you please go to another room and pray please i beg you in the name of jehovah almighty father please let my prayer not disturb my husband at all. In fact, let my prayer sound like a sweet song to his ears. Very melodious. Let my prayer soothe him so that he can sleep and find sleep in abundance in the name of Jesus. I also ask you to continue blessing him. Bless his business. Bless his handwork. Give him good health. Give him wealth beyond his imagination. Let your favor be his constant companion in the name of Jesus Christ. Back, left, right, center. In fact, bless him without control in the name of Jesus. Be his give him constant blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amaka, you are shouting and mumbling. You are giving me a headache. Hmm? If I go out and sleep in a hotel now, you say I slept out and didn't do as you agreed. You have started though. You have started. And look, look at what you are wearing. Very long like a Reverend Father Sotan. Is that what one should be seen every night? Nothing even to give son of man some hope. I'm dying every day waiting for your love, darling. Ooh, please don't leave me alone. I don't mean to scare you away. My love for you is much more than material things, oh baby. It's not be a task for you to love me as I am. Let it not be a task for you to love me as I am. Ooh, darling, pretend that you still love me because I love you. I'm getting. God abide the dead, oh my God. Ooh, the 
this is just another day for you and me in our paradise. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is just another day for you and me in our paradise. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this what you call a night? Is this a night? This good? Uzo. Uzo, I was praying, no. Eh? I was praying. See how, how, how you just. Confused me distra and distracted me with your talk. You said we must talk for 30 minutes every night before we sleep. I granted you that. Is that not enough? Was I not the one who kept talking and talking and talking? Did you respond? You it is. You asked questions. You were not talking. What did I do wrong? Is that a conversation? Is that not a question, my friend? If up till now you have not found out why I'm so pissed with you, why you no longer are attracted to me, then you're not just ignorant, wrong, but a little stupid. Ha! Uzo! So look at the way you are insulting someone who, 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 who is praying. Eh? Calling her stupid. Calling her ignorant. Who so? In the presence of my God, you call me stupid. Don't you have the fear of God? Eh? Are you doing what God asks you to do? Eh? In this marriage, Amaka, are you doing what God asks you to do? Amaka, you're not trendy. You don't dress well. Every time, rapa, 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 rapa. Don't you have one good dress? One good shorts that you wear of all the dresses I bought for you in this house? When was the last time you perfumed your body? Open your wardrobe. Now, so, 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 old woman clock full there. I don't tire. You keep on asking me what you did wrong. The list is endless. You come to bed sweating without taking your bath. When I ask you, you say you're cooking beans. And you expect me to hug you in that way. I was only trying to cook your food. Despite my pain. What pain? What pain, I ask you? When was the last time you perfumed your body? Wear something nice and sexy to come to the bedroom. Amaka, if one and a parish. No. You want it to remain like that. That's the way it should be. For a young man like me. Anyway, I shouldn't be talking too much. Because it's all over. Whatever I had for you in my heart is dead. And that's it. I am no longer a worldly woman. And I think you should be happy about that. I don't think any man wants a worldly woman who is vain as a wife. The talk, now you get your mouth. But let me tell you, there is no man in this world who doesn't want a good thing. Either before marriage or after marriage. Anyway, I shouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Pray that God will help you change your wardrobe for your next husband. As for me, Bobo like me, I cannot live. Uh, So we live in 
joy will be Journey of love Let do us a pass In our paradise Hello, Ma. The man just parked in front of a building and he entered inside. I'm still waiting. Or should I give you the address of the place? His office? No, it's a residential. Okay. Wait there and see what he went there for. Okay, Ma. Okay. I'll be waiting. I'm sorry I'm wasting your time. I'll be done in a minute. No, no, no. Take your time. I'm not complaining. I'm actually enjoying it. Really? Men don't like when women take a lot of time dressing up. <laughs> because they're too patient. But let's be honest. Women take too much time dressing up. From makeup and all of that. Especially when she has to figure out what to wear. On the contrary. That's what trips me about a woman details a woman who takes her time to look good and neat some men call it vanity i call it splendid oh thank you babe you're welcome i mean look at the way you are beautifying yourself making yourself look beautiful and neat look look carefully selecting what you're wearing on your body and what you're putting on your feet. That's wonderful. A woman is an object of beauty. God made them so. So any woman who really gets that to the background is insulting her nature. Oh. Look, look, I like her. I like her. My soul. Ah. One lecture. One Baby, Ijim Nalo. <laughs> oh. Hi. Baby, Ijim Nalo. My mama bought me for you. <laughs> I want to marry you. You want to marry me? Hmm. Men, they fear my kind, though. <laughs> Why do you think so? Well, they say we flirt a lot, but that is not true. Okay, tell me, which of these women do you think is in a better position to resist temptations from men? One. 
a woman who gets accosted every time and now she's used to it and a woman who is never really around men and when she gets accosted is a big deal and then she's carried away you want my honest answer yeah go ahead for me it's an individual thing person will go bad go bad even if you lock up for a room for the side village yeah. upbringing has a lot of roles to play in it friends and then peer pressure you know what peer pressure is what is it with John? <laughs> yeah. So for person will go bad, go bad. Good girl and a good girl, bad girl and a bad girl. You're very intelligent. No, sir, I see my my sister. Who is your sister? Your baby. Oh, my baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Love with a song, love with a sweet dream, love a sucker. You hide in my bed, you hide in my window, you hide in my sorrow. Hello, ma. Yes, he's still inside. I'm still waiting. Hello, hello? Hello, ma. Yes, they are out now. He's with a girl. They are holding hands like lovers. Eh? Should I follow them? They enter in his car. Should I follow them? Okay, ma, right away. I'll call you back. Okay. Love with the sweet Love with the sun. Love with a sweet love a sucker. You hide in my bed, you hide in my wonder, you hide in my sorrow. She was my one and only. Thank God I found you. You have taken away my sorrow. I'm deeply in love with you. Now so she comes when my heart to the bone. She went to fire. There was an old woman who lived in the shoe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you. There was an old woman who lived in the shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them to a bed without any bed, then spun them. Madam, oh, please, are you very busy? Oh, no, 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 exactly. I'm just reading this with her. Why? Um, please, I want to talk to you. Okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. The other woman? Yes. Which other woman? The lady Oga is seeing. I even have her house address. And I sent my niece, a young university graduate. She followed him this morning. You sent someone to follow my husband? Yes. On whose orders? Madame. Madame Jane, I am asking you, on whose orders? Did I ask for your assistance? Eh? Did I send you? Madame, please, I'm sorry. I was only trying to help her. Oh. <sighs> Who is the woman? It's Queen, oh. Queen. Yes, Queen the singer, performer uh, uh, Jack of all trades. She lives at number three, Tega Close. Jesus. Oh my mm. God. Madam, Madam, please. I am very sorry for all you are going through. Sorry, oh. Huh? Madam Jane. Madam. You are fired. 
Huh? Pack your things and leave my house. Jesus Christ. Ma, ma. You heard me. You are fired. I have sacked you. You no longer work here. Pack your things and get out of my house. But I, I was only trying to help you. I was just trying to help now. <laughs> money on this girl. He brought out almost 200,000 naira. Spraying and keep spraying. Huh? They had one bar there where people come to drink and eat roasted fish. Even there is this useless boy there playing guitar and singing a love song for them. Huh? God. Just leave that place and go home. Never mind. What? I said go home. You mean I should go home? Don't worry. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> Still, such a useless man. She stabbed you? Yes, Pastor. Oh. For bothering her, nothing else. 
I did nothing wrong. Maybe you should have informed her before sending somebody to follow her husband. I, I wanted to surprise her. To show her that I can protect her even without her knowledge. Pastor, mm -hmm. that girl is like a daughter to me. Huh. Um, I don't know how I say I want to talk to her. Oh, I can give you her phone number. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, give it to me. I will invite her for a meeting and talk to her. Oh, that will be most appropriate, Pastor. Thank you very much, Pastor. I am sure she will be open up to you and we can still save her marriage. It's okay. It's okay. The Lord is in control. Amen. 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 Pastor Mrs. Harry called me on the phone. Did you give her my number? Yes, I did, ma. So you reported me to her? No, not report, ma. I just pleaded with her to talk to you, ma. Because you sacked me. And I still want to work for you. What you did is not right at all. Must the whole world know that my husband is cheating? Where then is my pride as a woman? You sent a small girl, a small girl, to follow my husband around as if he's the only man in this town who has a woman or women outside his marriage. That is very disrespectful to me. If I want to trail my husband, I will do it myself. I will catch him myself. Not sending a small girl who hasn't married before. Who, who, who does not know the challenges in marriage. I am sorry, ma. Please forgive me. If you think I'm lying, they are now eating and drinking at Gaga Garden. You can go there and see things for yourself. I don't want to see, please. Please. I don't want to see anything. Uh, um, wait. Okay. Let's go. Um, but you have to call the car. I don't want to go in my car. He will know it. Yes, ma'am. I've been a fool too long, I 
This way. Yes, I have. <laughs> you laughed. You haven't laughed in a long while. I think you should laugh more. It will set certain things right in this house. The gloom in you has almost turned this house into a graveyard. I thank God that Henry is on holiday. If not, what do you for do? <laughs> you would have done what you've been doing. Seeing the other woman. <laughs> I found out who she is. She's very pretty. You chose well, my husband. <laughs> My husband, my husband. You my fed him mao. Eh? You've always had eyes for good things. Help <laughs> come get it. <laughs> uh, go on, go and get it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> How do 
did you find out about myself and the Queen? Did you have me followed? What's your point? The point is that I will not be followed. It's my life now. I have told you to divorce me. No, you divorce me. Divorce me. I am moving into the guest room. We must stop acting this movie as if all is well. What about our son? He, he will, he will ask questions. He will soon go back to school. If you or I stop answering, he will stop asking. Also. Yes. Never mind. Next time, if you have nothing to tell me, don't say Uzo. Yes, baby. Don't call me baby. I am not your baby. I'm dying every day, waiting for your love, darling. Ooh, please don't leave me alone. I don't mean to scare you away. My love for you is much more than material things, oh baby. Let it not be a task for you to. I confronted my husband with the truth yesterday. Now he knows I know what he's doing and who he's doing it with. And what was his reaction? He didn't say anything, but he was shocked that I knew. He then tried to cover it up and continued playing the ball he was playing with my son. Later in the evening, he started fuming. Fuming seriously. Asking me if I had him followed. It all ended with him moving into a separate room because he said we can no longer share the same bedroom until our divorce is final and I move out of the house. Since I said I didn't want anything, house, cash, car, or assets. Amaka, what happened? When did you become like this? From what I heard, your husband has had to put up with your sadness and your willingness to take care of yourself for five years. I am not saying that he's doing well by working out on the marriage. No. But maybe you pushed him. And even a good man will fall if you push him hard enough. Sister Maka, love is like a fire. If you light it, you must keep adding fuel to it if you want it to burn forever. Love can be real. Yet it can die. It does not mean that it was not real from the start. It died because either one or the two parties took it for granted and did not put spend effort to add foil in it. Just look at you. Taking care of ourselves, your body, everything around us is foil. Purpose is foil. Drive and achievement is for her. Staying relevant to each other's lives is for her. Romance is for her. A man growing terribly but bellied because he's now married and has all the money to buy beer and isiwu. It's not for her to love at all because he's not going to look attractive to his wife. Look at you. Living like this for five years is not for her. I am not talking about vanity. That's a sin in itself. But if you think that what I'm preaching is not in the Bible, 
you can go and read Songs of Solomon. Sister Maka, do you still love your husband? Yes. Why then are you making it difficult for him to continue loving you? I... I found out five years ago that's why I've been on birth control pills because I didn't want to bring a child into this world a, a child that will not know my love or know me well before I die It was the same year my mother died. The, the whole pain came on me at once. Something inside of me died. This was taken away from me. God. That's why I didn't want to tell my husband. Because I didn't want his own happiness to be taken away too. My daughter. You see? You see why I didn't want to tell anybody? I don't want a pity party. I just want to be strong. Strong till the end comes. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on everybody. Oh, you don't need to be unhappy. We have a God. Awesome God. He lives in heaven. He controls every affair of man in this planet Earth. He owns everything. He said in everything we should give him thanks. I want you to stand up. Let us give him praise and thanks. He is the bigger than the biggest. Richer than the richest. He can change every situation to our own good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because he lives. I confess tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know he holds a future. I
Madam J, please get me water to drink. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Since morning, where are you coming from? Have you started running wild? Is it late? It's still afternoon now. Do you know when I came back? I have been here since 12 noon. What time is it now? 4 p.m. You don't work. You have no known business. So how could you be out for so long? What's up, big just leave me alone, please. Do you know you are talking rubbish? You don't know what to say. Now you listen. If you want to run wild, not while you are under this roof. If you want to run wild, pack your things and get out of here. Pack your dirty clothes and your smelly self out of here. This is not an old people's home. God have mercy. God have mercy. What is wrong with you, sir? Do you want to kill her, sir? Have you not done enough, sir? This woman has cancer. She is stuck here. She has been hiding it from you and suffering alone. So she doesn't cut short your own happiness. Yet you add to her then. Sir, are you a murderer? Where is madam? Mother, madam just wrong come out outside the gates now. Madam Jane. I wasn't I told about this all this while? I got to know about it today, sir. Madam has been suffering in silence. This is even the reason why dressing and taking care of herself has not been important to her. She once told me that wearing makeup and adorning herself was to her like dressing a corpse which had no life in it. Pyros, open the gate. Okay, sir. Now, Jane, I am going to look for her. Tell Henry nothing when he wakes up. Yes, sir.
baby I know you love me You know I love you Let's keep this love alive Tell me It's hard for me to tell I could have seen this coming Things are no more the same Just one this earth now It breaks my heart I'm falling at the floor With you my baby It breaks my heart I'm falling at the floor With you my darling It breaks my heart I'm falling at the floor Oh, I'll be more It's hard for me to tell I could have seen this coming Things are no more the same We don't have to wait Our worries are so close I've seen love as well I feel I want this Baby, I know you love me You know I love you Let's keep this love alive Tell me It's hard for me to tell I could have seen this coming Things are no more the same I did not see her. I called her phone several, it rang, but she did not pick. She did not go out with her phone, sir. When you called, it rang here. This is her phone. Right, I. I'll be in my room. I need to cool down a little. Yes, sir. But she will come back, right? You think she will come back? Yes, sir. She will come back. Once she gets herself a little, she will. I am sure she's somewhere now cooling down herself too. She will come back. Okay. 
um, please, when she comes back, I want everybody in this house to treat her like the queen, the princess. We need to give her all the love we can. Yes, sir. She's not back yet. Where did she go? Uh, she went out, I think, to see some friends. But who does not have any friends? I wonder where she went to. I called her on phone and Auntie Jane picked it. I said that mommy left her phone at home. Yes, she will be back very soon. We just had a little quarrel. She just said she wanted to be left alone. But I'm sure she'll be back by tomorrow. But everything will be all right, okay? Yes, I... Please, uh, I'm with you by the car. Thank you. Hi, love. Hi. What's wrong? What happened? Something terrible has happened. What is it? My wife has cancer. <gasps> oh my God! I can't leave her. I'm calling off the divorce. I came to tell you uh, it's over. Your wife has cancer. And then you want to leave me? Am I because of her cancer? Have a heart. I, I, I do. I, I, I have a heart. And that's. I, 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 and my heart is very sensitive. That's, that's why this thing you say is going to break my heart. You can't leave me. I can't be with you, Queen. She needs every single attention. I can't divide my attention. I, I can't. Is this love or pity? I love her. I didn't know I did. I. I was just deceiving myself. And me? I don't know. Uh, Queen, look, you're a young, pretty, charismatic, talented girl. You, you can love again. I can still love again. You come into my life. You make me fall in love with you. And now you just want to jump out. I can still love again. So me now, I should go and look for somebody else. After you came to look for me by yourself. Eh? Easy. Who's up? Easy. Now me now go love again. Easy. Easy. Eh? Easy. Easy. After you come here, go beg me, make I follow you. Easy. You say I go love again. Easy. Easy. Eh? Just take it easy. Me go love again. Easy. Queen. Easy. 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 I'm going to show you what I be today. Who's up? I'm going to show you the grace. Easy. Easy. Now me now you come here, come tell that rubbish. I'm going to move away. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Who's up? I'm going to walk up again, Abby. I'm going to walk up again. Who's up? I'm going to show you that I have a crack on this house. I'm going to let you find something there. Then I'm going to walk up again. Who's up? I'm going to walk up again, Abby. I'm going to walk up again. 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 I'm Who's up? I said I'm not going to be better for you. You, you're not going to be better. 
is all those things are found as false I will admire in her just bring her back home safe God I know you can hear me please I beg you God I beg you God please please God I beg you God please do it for me, please, God. I beg you, please. Please, God. Thank you, God. his children well has failed God you are not only irresponsible but you have studied a problem that is going to live on even after you have gone any parents who fails to give his children a right foundation how do you expect them to go into the world and succeed how God would demand an answer from each and every one of us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As responsible parents, 
before planning to get pregnant plan also on how to take care of your children these kids at least basic education praise the lord Hallelujah. you as a mother and your daughter is in the university you don't know how she pays her school fees don't pretend you don't know that she's selling her body in order to pay for her school fees god will ask you questions excuse me please Doctor, we've been praying for you and I've been so worried. Where have you been? I've been in a hotel, but I've, I've run out of cash. I don't want to go home. Please, go home. No, no. I want to give Uzo his space. For how long? Till... God shows me what to do, or till I kill myself. God forbid. No, God forbid bad thing. Have you contacted Jane? N no. I just came straight here to see you. Please, I want you to tell her that I'm okay. Also, also tell my son. Tell him that I love him. I love him very much. It's okay. It's okay. You are going home with me. You're going to stay in my visitor's room. We'll have a lot to talk. But that will be after the fellowship. Come, let's go in. Don't worry. Come, let's go. Worry. Good afternoon. How are you? Please, it's past our round. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Please look at Sister Jane, you're welcome. Yes, ma. Her husband must not know she's here. All right, ma. Okay. So how do you feel now? I'm okay. Just tired. Jane! You see, eh? Your husband has been crying everywhere. He's looking for you everywhere. He's not himself. You see? I told you God will solve it. The last thing on his mind now is divorce. Yes. All he's talking now is, where is my wife? I need to see her. I want to take care of her. In fact, oh my goodness. May the name of the Lord be praised. Amen. Oh, Sister Jane, before she goes home, I want her to go to my own hospital. Yes, they are very good. I want them to do a thorough checkup. I mean, have some kind of test so we know the exact stage of her illness. Then from there, we'll know what next to do. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. Thank you. You're blessed. Amen. <sighs> Oh, 
Let's go home. No. I want to jump. I want to jump. Don't. I'm going to jump. No, don't jump. Please. Okay, let's let's go home. I'll make you inside, please. I beg you. No. Please, please. I'm going let's... to jump so you don't marry Queen. No, no, I won't marry her. No, 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 no. Help! Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Oh God, Amaka. Amaka. Amaka is dead. Amaka is dead. Amaka is dead. She jumped off the bridge into the water. No. No. This dream is not ordinary. Oh my God. Oh my God, what have I done to myself? Oh. Amaka, how can I make up? Can I make up? Oh. oh, please, can I have her back so I can make up for everything? Oh my god. Oh my god. Daddy. Yes, Jenny. Somebody is banging on our gate. The gate man is shouting. Who is that? I don't know. Let's go find out. Open this gate or you won't call your girl for me. Open! See, I swear to God, eh? If you wound me, if you wound me, if you wound me, I will put your voice to your ear. I don't know, you go sit, you go sit, you go sit for prison. You go sit for prison. Open this gate! I'm gonna sleep now. Huh? I don't tell you. I don't know you. How you gonna enter, enter the compound? How you gonna enter the compound? I've told you. Call my other phone. Make a, you, 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 you buy me phone? You have a phone call for my phone? This is your girl I've never given you. This is your girl I've never given you before. Make, 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 make a call her. I will show you for this place. Uh, uh, hey, Oga. Hey. Who's one pregnant? Why are you doing this? Which kind of question be down? Why am I doing what? You not give me belle? Not you give me belle? Not me give myself belle? You don't what I did. You should ask yourself why you give me belle? Let's go and run some tests. I don't now. have time for that kind of rubbish test. So what do you want? Ten million naira. Settle me. Hey, Ole. Thunder go fire you. Ten million. Thunder, now go fire you. That who goes so that your mouth for you. Hmm. So you tell me, 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 So you can curse like this. All this, I got class, I'm a class lady, was all fake. Now you, Sabi, write me the check. Then I'll leave for peace to reign. You carry on with your sorry life. All right. I'll write you a check for 10 million. Just let go of my neck, huh? please. Huh? Ah, yeah. This is your leg. Let's go inside. Just let go. I cannot. This is your two legs. As you take me, Belen, I saw this your two legs go fast. They run past me. Okay, if you never... If you never... If you touch me, if you touch me. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey! So I won't write check 10 million give this girl. Because she get Belen. Like, eh? Emperor, she won't born. Hey! Meanwhile, every day they ask of salary increase. They don't agree with me. Every month, 15,000 naira. If I buy the got to increase money for me, they go tell me, say, I eat for house. We want write 10 million naira. Give girl, because they carry belly. Hey! Bring that one. Yeah. 
beat. Hey, 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 Jane, stop it. Stop it. Mad person. Okay, wait now. Why all this money to her? To, to, to this Mpankana model? Jane, please, let me concentrate and mourn my wife. I had a terrible dream where she committed suicide. The dream was so real. Please, have you heard anything from her? Mm, no, sir. I have gone to the police and I have declared her missing. They haven't come up with anything yet. So you see, to a man who is at the brink of losing his wife, fate, situations, everything. 10 million naira is nothing if it ends one more channel of chaos. Please, let me be a queen. You may go now. I don't trust you because this check, if it bounces, I will send you my account details. Here, take your check. You'll be hearing from me very soon. Auntie, I beg come up for a little pass. Mm. Mosquito! Mm. We'll be killing one out. Baby hospital. Oh. Madam, your case is a case of misdiagnosis. What you have is an upper respiratory tract infection. The symptoms are very similar with leukemia, and sometimes due to lack of proper test or medical laziness. It can be misdiagnosed as leukemia, which is cancer of the white blood cell, leukocytes. Uh, um, doctor, wait. Are you saying that I don't have cancer? No, you don't. And from the lab results before me here which are detailed i emphatically say no you don't have cancer
Hey, I'm back again. My wife is dead. Suicide. What? Did the police find her body? Dude, I, I had a dream. It was so real. Look, Dan. If that woman dies now, I will be the next candidate. My major concern is our son, Henry. How's he gonna cope? His mother's absence is hitting him so bad. Come on, Uzo. It's just a dream. You are missing her, you want her around, and so this kind of dream is expected. No. Look, Dan. I don't always dream. And when I dream, I don't remember it. This one is that I remember everything vividly, how it all happened. I can still see it. You know I'm not a spiritual person. But if God was not trying to show me a revelation of what is going to happen to her, I wouldn't have it. And Queen is also blackmailing me. My troubles are not over. Queen? Okay. How much is involved? 10 million naira. Or else she'll have a baby for me. She's, Lies. she's pregnant. Lies. Did you use a CD? Once I had a free kick. Oh, come on, Dan. Once is enough, yes, but I still don't believe it. Honestly, I don't believe you. You should take her for a bit. She has refused to come for a pregnancy test. Then forget about her. She's not serious. Oh, would you want me to handle her? Hmm? The problem is that you are too soft, Dan. Honestly, I can get the police to arrest her for attempted blackmail and then get her to do a pregnancy test. I will appreciate if you can do that for me. God bless you, bro. I got you. I always got your back. Remember how we used to fight for you in the university? <laughs> get out of here, man. Things like you're just a soft person. Let me handle it for you. Maybe you'll give me five million. I'm going to leave for a long time. But that's always. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Blackmailing for 10 million naira, claiming you are pregnant for me. <sighs> Uzo is the quiet one, but I am the heat man. I clean up the mess. I'm going to ask you clearly. And if you lie, then you will complicate issues for yourself. We know they go police, we know they go court. Every quiet man has a heat man friend. <laughs> Are you pregnant? Uzo came into my life and he made me fall in love with him. Eh? Even I say he used me, if that you go like him, you go like him. Listen, you're a beautiful lady and you should know that life is a game. And before you get into anything, you should know that there is always a lose or win situation. Uzo thought he loved you, but what he felt for you was not love. He was driven by the pressures in his marriage. And so he thought he loved you. I beg you, disappear from his life. Leave him alone. Don't come near him, not even your shadow. Listen, you still haven't answered my question. Are you pregnant for him? Don't know yourself. That means you are not. Answer me! No, I, I'm not pregnant for him. I just won't punish him now. The guy break my heart now. He break my heart. Listen, you're a fine girl. 
You have a lot of men who will still come for you. Face your career. Leave Uzo alone. No betrayal. To... Boys, leave her. Let's go. What do you want? You won't let me rest unless I give you 10 million naira? Okay. Test me your account details. I'll transfer the money right away so I can have some rest. In my line of business, I have met men. A lot of men. They're rich and mighty. But I just, I just play with him and I move on. But with you, with you it was different. Love is not something that is real for me. I mean, here was a man who opened his heart to me and I saw you for you, who you were. A man who loved his family. A man who was driven to the brings by his wife. A man who was decent enough to love me enough for my body. You were lost and lonely. Uzo, I feel that gap. I, I, I love you. I, I love you be it right or wrong. I do. Nobody said life was going to be as simple as ABC. Life is a complexity. And sometimes we find ourselves in situations. So I don't need your money. Why? You wanted it. Oh, I see. My guy, Dan, put the fear of God in you. You sure did a good job. Uzo, I be street girl. If it's muscle for muscle, I can muster my people too. And then there's a clash. We both will bleed. You can't... You can't win me on this one. <laughs> Dan is not a superhuman. If I want to set him up, I will, I, I will if I want to. So don't ever say that he got me scared. Because he didn't. <laughs> but like... But like the song by Stevie Wonder, I... I just get to say I love you. Please. Please let me stay in your life. I beg. 
I beg you. Don't, don't stay away from me like this. Please, I beg you. Even if you're going to leave me, pull back gradually. This, this suddenness is going to kill me. The pain is too much. Just break my heart slowly. Don't do it like this. It's too, it's too painful. I didn't... I didn't fall in love with you one day. Don't leave me one day, please. There is no easy way to break somebody's heart. No, we can be friends. Even if we're not lovers, we can be friends. Queen, it will work. It will work. What we need now is space. To get about what we feel. People die suddenly. They don't give notice before they die. You loved Uzo. And Uzo loved you too. But Uzo died today. Take it like that. Take it that Uzo has died. Cry for him and move on, my dear. I need to be with a sick woman who is my wife. She needs me more if she's still alive. Right now, she's missing. Do you love her? Yes. I do. Very much. It took an understanding of her situation to make me realize I never stopped loving her. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Love with a sweet love with a song, love with a sweet love a sucker. You hide in my bed, you hide in my wonder, you hide in my sorrow. Love with a song, she was my one and only. Thank God I found you. You have taken away my sorrow. I'm deeply in love with you. Now, so she comes when my heart to the bun. She quench the fire, bring the love, quench the fire in yourself. We are like in so many ways. We have many things in common. Come on, bring the love, bring the love, bring the love. There'll be anything you want to you. If you know my love, I love you. Anything you want to you. If you know my heart Pastor, I'm ready to go Thank you so much for everything you did for me <laughs> You gave me my life back No, Thank I you. did not I did not Sister Maka, I did not God only used me to give your life back to you and it seemed alone you will thank and keep thanking and we must thank God that the team of doctors and the specialists did a thorough job with your diagnosis else you would have died thinking you had something you don't have <laughs> will you not be coming with us ma at least to witness the surprise moment <laughs> no. when her husband will say hi no. again I'll leave both of you now when you get home, sneak out into the house and warn the gate man not to say a word. Okay? Then in the morning, spring the surprise. I will make out time and come to the house and minister to the family sometime this week. This is family affair. I will leave you to enjoy the family restoration. <laughs> mm. Thank you very much, Pastor. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. May God continue to bless you. Bless you, God. Bless you. Bless you, Sister Jane. Bless you. Bless you. Bless. bless. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Why you go since morning now? It's your car around. Yes, now. Nah. Forget they come out again. The man know they go, go, go out again now. Nah. Now nah, listen to me. Room. So, God, like, the man is not happy these days. He's not happy these days now. Nah. Now nah, listen to me. Madame Amaka is in that daisy. Eh? Shut, oh. shut, shut your mouth. Shut it. Are you ready to shut up your mouth? Good. Now, you listen to me. We want to surprise your girl tomorrow morning. Hey. So, me fight you open this your mouth and tell your girl, say, Madame did this house. You they hear me so? I they mad? Pai yo, you they hear me so? To my heavenly God, I don't go tell her. Good. Hi. Now, she will sneak inside the house and rest in my room till tomorrow morning. Then she will show herself to her. Okay, okay. Good. <laughs> now I will wait here. You go and check for me. So as to be sure Oga is not downstairs in the sitting room. Then you come and signal us. Okay, okay. You do hear? Okay. I go. Hi. Madam, don't come back. Let us go. Go, job. Then go. You have to eat something. All hope is not lost. God can still perform miracle. It's about five days now. Not a word from my wife. Not a word about my wife. What do I keep telling Henry? I've run out of lies. Just like they say, you don't miss your water until your well runs dry. I know. It's all right. Still, you have to eat something. Madame Jen. Is there anything I can do? Anything I can consult? Any power? Anything I can do to have Amaka back again? Make a wish. I present to you your real queen, Amaka. Mommy! Oh my God! Mommy! <laughs> so. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I beg you. Forgive me, please. 
it's not your fault. Sometimes when we're in pain, those times in our lives when we're all fighting with our personal demons, we should open up to our loved ones. Those ones who genuinely care about us without having any doubt if they will still love us at our low times. I hid my pain from you. And in doing so, I caused us more pain. You waited five years. Five years for me to open up to you. And I never did. It took you five years to break. Also, you're a good man. You love me. I was busy looking at the flashy babes. Now I know the real meaning of all that glitter is not gold. You see how she just turned bitter like a noble plant at the slightest trouble. So everybody learns a lesson. Even I myself have learned for my future. <laughs> Come here. <laughs>
shackle change time with you Oh yes, we leave Oh yes, we leave Journey of love Let's do a sapat Let's do a sapat Let's do a sapat I love you, you love me Happy family, let's do a supper. I feed you, you feed me, let's do a supper. Moments we share, let's do a supper.